All right, first video of the year. Let's get it cracking. We gonna start it off with a boxing breakdown. It's been a while since my last video about a boxing fight. I've gained a ton of fans through my MMA content and don't worry, that's not going anywhere. Boxing was my first love in combat sports, so I'm just giving it some love here and there. Last Saturday, we had one of the scariest boxers in probably history go at it against a tough challenger in Callum Smith. It is indeed the man, the myth, the legend, Arthur Betterbeev, and he put on an amazing performance. It was incredible to see how he was able to completely control the narrative of the fight with the way that he performed. This was an undisputed title eliminator fight, meaning that whoever wins will likely be next in line to unify all of the belts. Better be if is the only man in boxing to have an 100% knockout ratio. Yes, you heard that right, 100%, meaning everyone that he has been in the ring with has tasted the canvas. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's a crazy flex. Knowing that 20 people tried you and they all didn't make it to the final bell. But despite all of that, some people actually had doubts for Better Beev heading into this fight. Some people thought Better Beev was going to be rusty in this fight due to him approaching father time and his last bout against Anthony Yard was tougher than expected. And I see why people would think that because albeit he did finish Anthony Yard in his last fight, some people thought he was going to dog walk him instead. But instead, the fight was neck and neck up until the stoppage. But however, I feel like that was less about Better Beev of slowing down as a boxer and more about Anthony Yard not getting his respect. Meanwhile, because of this, people thought Callum Smith was going to have a much easier time fighting Better Beev. Callum Smith is one of the best boxers out of the UK. He has great skills, one punch KO power, and he has never been knocked down in his professional career. He fought Canelo at super middleweight and never got hurt with a shot, let alone getting dropped. But to no surprise, at least for me, Better Beev got the job done inside 7 rounds and it went exactly like how I expected. He beat Callum Smith in typical fashion. The the fight was not close. It was competitive in moments, but Better B have controlled the fight from start to finish. The levels that he showed were very evident, but how did he do it? When I was watching the fight, I was noticing about three things that Better B have did well. But upon reviewing the film, I was able to pinpoint about seven or eight things that Better B have did so well. So let's dive into it. Let me present to you the quote unquote science as to how Better B have delivered a masterclass. The first thing that Better B have did so well and what won him the fight from start to finish was his ability ability to dominate in the jab battle. Better Beef is the shorter man by a couple of inches and he has a shorter reach. And it doesn't take a genius to know that when a taller fighter fights a shorter fighter, the taller fighter is most likely going to win the jab battle. But nope, Better Beef was landing the jab at will. But how? He's the smaller fighter in terms of height, but how did he out jab Callum Smith? And if you look at the jabs that he was landing, none of them were particularly quick. The reason why he was so successful with the jab is because he has great jabbing technique. If you slow the fight down frame by frame, you can see Better Beef throw the jab straight from his guard. No hitching, no telegraph he pops it straight from his stance and steps straight into it. That's why you kept seeing Callum Smith's head popping back because he can't see the punch coming. Secondly, Better be if threw a variety of jabs. He threw a jab from his guard, a jab from his hip, an up jab, a touch jab, double jabs, body jabs, and even countered with his jab as Smith threw a big right hand. This allowed Better Beef to walk Smith down very easily and control the fight. But it doesn't end there. Better Beef threw the jab very well, but also defended the jab too. Many times you saw him just take half steps out of range or counter Smith's jab with his own jab or came over the top with the right hand. That's how he finished Callum Smith in round 7. He took away Smith's jab, came over the top, and that was the beginning of the end. Another thing that was a huge difference maker in the fight was the footwork. Offensively and and defensively for Better Beev. Callum Smith is a front foot fighter. That's where he does his best work. On the back foot, he's not so great, and Canelo was able to prove that when they fought. So knowing that, Better Beev did so well to stay off of the ropes. When Callum Smith was trying to creep forward and walk him down, watch Better Beev execute what's called an L step to avoid the ropes. He did well to avoid going back in a straight line. There's a rule in boxing where if you take two steps back, you gotta cut an angle or else you're gonna end up on the ropes. And if you watch Callum Smith the entire fight, he walked back in a straight line the entire fight. Offensively, Better Beev was able to reset by creating an angle and not walking forward in a straight line. He rarely fought on the center line in this fight. However, this ties into the next thing that I want to point out, which is his distance management. I know I already mentioned Better Beev taking small steps out of range, but he was able to build off of 
with that by sticking and moving. He was in and out and that allowed him to counter Smith. But he wasn't exactly perfect as there were times where he should have executed this a bit more because Callum Smith only had success when Better B have decided to fight too long in the pocket. This gave Smith a ton of opportunities to put shots together and Better B have doesn't have the greatest defense inside the pocket. He was much better when he landed and exited out of range. He needed to take a page out of Devin Haney's book a lot more. Better B have also had great patience when he had Callum Smith up on the ropes. There were few times where Better B have rushed his offense and instead he took his time by dictating the distance and picking the shots. Most boxers would just unload a barrage of punches and they would either sprint themselves out of the round or end up smothering their own work. But Better Beev is different. He's a thinking fighter and it shows. But to add on to that, once he had Smith up on the ropes and he found his punching distance, he started unloading a ton of punches. But they weren't just hard shots where he was just putting everything behind it. He was constantly mixing arm punches with waist punches. Lomachenko is one of the best mid to inside boxers of all time. And one of the reasons why he was so great was his ability to mix power intensity and for better be if he's also great at that as well he was constantly touching touching and touching keeping smith occupied and then boom that's when he would sit down on hard shots he kept smith up on the ropes by doing this and it was hard for smith to try to punch back or maneuver his way off the ropes but another thing that was beautiful in Better Beef's performance was the shots that he was landing on the inside. Everything he was throwing was short and precise. Short hooks were finding the target. Uppercuts were splitting the throat of Callum Smith, literally. And that short chopping right hand that he's known for was landing too. He was doubling up on those shots and dominated those exchanges. Lastly, the body work from Better Beef was lethal. This is one of the reasons why Better Beef has an 100% knockout ratio. He finishes fights through a combination of boxing skills and punch power. A lot of people look at his knockout ratio and automatically assume that he has crazy power. And albeit, I'm sure he has a great amount of punching power, but I don't think he has the heaviest hands in boxing. I just think Better Beev is good at breaking people down. He's good at finishing fights. Stoppages don't happen in fights because of power. Things like speed, precision, IQ, setups play a factor into that as well. And that's what Better Beev does. He works the body and eventually works upstairs to unlock the openings that he wants. He chops down the tree slowly round by round. He beats you up until he makes you quit mentally. He's the best finisher in boxing right now in my personal opinion. When he has you hurt, he's not going to let you off the hook. And one last thing that I want to mention, I want to give Buddy McGirt credit for his heroic act of saving Callum Smith so he can fight another day. Some people were upset that Buddy didn't allow Callum Smith to go out on the shield, but he made the right move. In fact, I personally believe that more trainers and coaches should have more courage to step in and save their fighters before it's too late. And you also have to remember, Buddy McGirt was in the corner of Maxim Dadashev, who lost his life in the boxing ring because he was taking too much punishment. And I can bet you that Buddy McGirt still feels a ton of guilt till this day for not acting quicker in that fight. And that's why he didn't allow the same to happen to Callum Smith. And besides, we knew what the outcome was going to be at that point. There was no way Callum Smith would have survived, let alone actually carry on and have enough brain cells to win the fight. So now this leads to the ultimate undisputed fight in the light heavyweight division between Arthur Better Beev and Dimitri Bivol. I am so excited for this fight. This is the best fight to make in boxing right now. Yeah, I said it. The best. Both guys are top 10 pound for pound. And talk about stylistically, this will be an incredible display of chess in a boxing environment. Dimitri Bivol is very hard to beat. He is so skilled and technically sound. He doesn't get hit. His Soviet boxing style is extremely hard to crack. We haven't seen anyone really come close to beating Bivol. And everybody that has stepped foot in the ring against Better Beev has all tasted the canvas and eventually finished. He has great skills along with punching power and it's just going to be a great fight for the sport of boxing. I can't wait. I love it. I love both fighters. They're both my guys. But may the best man win. Side note, His Excellency Turkey is out here saving boxing, bro. Saudi is officially saving boxing and bringing them back. But that is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening to what I have to say and let me know. What did you think about Better Beev's performance against Callum Smith? Who do you have winning the undisputed title fight between Arthur Better Beev and Dimitri Bivol? Drop a comment and let me know in the comment section down below. Now, if you guys enjoy content that is related to combat sports, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Now, if you can't get enough of the content on this channel, head down to the description of this video and follow me on my Twitter for more tweets about combat sports. And other than that, it's been Steven, signing out. Peace.